guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of FIFA 20 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Scunthorpe United. And we are here in the end of March. We have one final game against Plymouth Argyle, who are right behind us on the table. And we really need to get some wins here. We had two draws on the last one, so we need to turn it around, grab as many, pay as many points as we can, because really would love to see ourselves into that top three as we move into April. We only have a few games remaining. I think we have one in May, so just about to the end of the season. It will be one against second to the bottom of the table, Cambridge United, only above Carlisle. So let's get into this one, see if we can turn things around, get some wins in, and see if we can grab three points. So we'll get into this one here against Plymouth Argyle. We will rotate the squad, dealing with a little bit of fatigue here on the midweek matchup. It will be Yidget, though, in net. And then we have Guzman, who's going to come in for Wayne, and Henry, who comes in for Bailey. So let's get into this one, see if we can continue scoring and grab three points off Plymouth Argyle. And we'll get this one underway. All right through the middle. It's a good chance. Look good. Oh, well, Cora couldn't handle it, though, and it's back in. Hung can't get there. Yidget has to make the save. Thought we were going to get that cleared easily. But Cora turns it over, and Yidget makes a good save, sends it off the sidebar, out for a corner. Free kick here for Plymouth. They'll send it into the box, and Okora will head it back towards the top. It's a chance here as Manalek misses with a tackle. They get a big shot off the sidebar. Jackson tries to clear it. He can't. Hung gathers it and gets it back to him, and Alan Vick will carry it out. Oh, well, Cora can't get the pass off. It's going to be right in front. Yijit's not going to make that save. You know, Cora continues to struggle. Just not enough experience in Plymouth Argyle. With us not having any real good... I don't think we even have a shot off yet. They make it 1-0 here in the 41st minute. As Cora tries to get a pass. I was trying to go to Hung. But no, the direction goes wrong. And Yijit can't make the save. And that does it. We'll go into halftime down 1-0 to Plymouth Argyle. No offense to speak of for Scunthorpe United. Need to change that and get into the final third. Manalik gets it up to George Wood. Has to fight off a defender and goes back to Manalik. He'll try and push forward. Has it through to Wood. Gets it on to Guzman. Guzman right around Wang. Wang into the box. Takes the shot and bends it right inside. And it's 1-1. 65th first minute. And Wang comes all off the bench to replace the tired Kinsezao. Finds the back of the net as George Wood. It's a nice pass in there to Guzman. Guzman there on a tight angle. Gets it to Wang, who puts it right in the back of the net. Evens things at one. Okora tries to push up here. Tries to get going. Has it out wide to Cordoba. It rolls on. He'll get on the ball. Now back into Wang. Wang turns his man nicely. Has a good pass up. It's Rogerson. Can he get off? No. Loses it on the edge of the box, but it's a free kick. And we'll have a chance. Can we put one into the back of the net? It's Wang who steps up to take it 19 yards out. Can he put it in the back of the net? Puts it. Oh, and he makes the save. Cesarek. The former keeper here at Scunthorpe United makes a diving grab and can't quite convert is Wang. Jackson gets it up to Manalik, moves it along Wang. Wang tries to take on the defender by himself. He'll cut back inside now, has a little bit of a lane, puts it on, and saved by Cesarek. Oh, they drive right up, broken up. But can't win the ball. It gets in behind. It's a big shot. And Yidget will knock that one away. Goes for another corner. Another corner here in the final minutes. It will be a chance. Wang tries to get up there. Breaks it up. It goes over the top. Goes to the other side of the box. Baxter settles it down. We try to put the pressure on. Can we break it up and get one last offensive chance? Goes back. They'll look for a cross. It's a delayed penalty into the box. Jackson flicks it out of there. It goes out, and another chance here. We'll break it up, and that should just about do it as they turn the ball over. No, they'll give one last chance for Plymouth Argyle. Moore gets past. Jackson can't get there. Okora heads it away. Manalik boots it, and we'll get a draw. And an ugly one for Scunthorpe United. I mean, just could. I mean, no real highlights for either team. Couldn't get anything going for either team. 
It's seven shots. We only had three split possessions. It's Wang with the goal, gets an 8.4. Rogers in a 6.1. Kinsaysau, 6.1. Wood, 6.0. Guzman, 8.0. Yidget, 6.7. Okora, 6.9. Hung, 6.9. Jackson, 6.9. Alenvik, 7.3. Cordoba, 6.4. Manalik, 7.6. Henry, 5.9. Rinaldi, 5.8. And that does it as we go all even with Plymouth Argyle. So we'll get into our youth players as we get to the beginning of the month, and we're here in our final month of Australia, and the only player we're going to take a look at is Hugh Davies, 50-68 to 68 overall, 80-94 to 94 potential. Looks like he's probably a good central defensive midfielder, and we could do with another one of those, so we'll bring him into the academy, and that will do it for us here in Australia. And we'll get in here with Belgium, and we'll take a look at it. It's got quite a few players. We'll take a look at Victor... Jelen? Yeah, we'll go with Jelen. Sure. Florian LeBlanc we'll take a look at as well. And we'll see if we have... We have a bunch of good goalkeepers in this round as well. But, I mean, I just don't know. Do we need another goalkeeper? I think what we'll do, just in case we lose one, we will bring in Victor Jansensen. 74 to 92, 60 to 74 overall already. So it looks to be a good player. We'll bring in Victor Jelen, and then we will bring in Florian LeBlanc, and we'll probably have to make some room in the Youth Academy. So let's get into that, see if we need to make some room. So we're here, final month in Sweden, and it's brought back two good goalkeepers, but I think we're going to hold off on them. We obviously have a lot of them. The two players we'll take a look at, William Eriksson, the left back, 74 to 90 potential. And then we'll take a look at one other player in Johansson, Yo, Jonas, 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 Jonas Gustafsson. We'll eventually get his name right. 76 to 94, another essential defensive midfielder. So we need to make some room in the Youth Academy, so we'll take a look at maybe some of these players. We have Victor G Oh man, does he look good. We'll try and hold on to him as long as we can. We, we really don't need a fourth goalkeeper. So we'll take a look. We have Ishmael Diabete, he looks good. Fernando Aguero, we could probably let go of. We have a lot of left wingers at this point, and he doesn't have the greatest potential, so we will let him go. We also have Jose Enriquez, who looks to be good. Carlos was still waiting just to turn 16. Tiago Abreu, who, again, another winger. Do we need that at this point with, with so many players with better potential over him? Oliver Carter will probably... Do we get rid of him? I don't I don't know. Harvey Mitchell. We have Arn Goosens. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll... I mean, we got to start making cuts somewhere. So Morgan Turner we could probably get rid of as we brought in Hugh Davies now. Was 58 overall. I think maybe we'll give that another. Yeah, let's get rid of Morgan Turner. He just, you know, we don't know where that potential is going to go. We have Hugh Davies. We have Arning Goosens. I, I want to try and avoid bringing players into the squad. Is I mean, we just have so many players to play right now. So we will get rid of get rid of Tiago or Breu, or do we get rid of maybe one of the other players? Andrew Andrew Kelly has good potential. And we need to get rid of one more player. We will we'll get rid of Tiago Abreu. We just have we have a lot of wingers at this point, and we, we have so many players that can play, you know, have better potential. So we'll hold on there. We'll try and avoid bringing these players in. We got we're almost at the end of the season, so we don't want to bring them in. We want to let them grow here in the academy as long as we can. So we'll get into this one here against Cambridge United. It will be a rotated roster as best we can. I mean, we, we just, we're just struggling right now. We just got to get back on in normal fatigue. It will be Ennis and Nett, Alenvik, Jackson, Hung, and Shigari comes in at right back. Rinaldi's out on the left wing with Wang, Manalik, and Bailey. Rogerson's in the cam along with Wood up top. Let's get into this one, see if we can grab three points. And we'll get this one underway. So it's a free kick here for Scunthorpe to open up the game. We'll send it in. It's George Wood looking for it. Sends it across. It's Bailey on the ball. Takes a deflection and we can't get on the end of it with Alan Vick. Oh, they get in behind us. Wang fights back. Bailey's there. He'll cover it up. Good cross in. Header on. And Ennis can't make the save, but it goes wide of the net. Manalik has the ball. 
Looks for a pass. Goes off to Alan Vick. Goes along to Rinaldi. Rinaldi through to George Wood. He gets behind, drives in, takes the shot, puts it on and into the back of the net. George Wood opens it up, bar down, into the back of the net. It's 1-0. Scunthorpe United. George Wood just finds a little bit of a gap, takes the shot, almost sends it over the net. <laughs> a little bit too excited when he you know, thought we'd have a lot more pressure defensively. Right through three to defenders. And then finds the ball at his feet in front of net with no one stepping up to block him. And he finds the back of the net. Rogerson passes it along to Manilik. They'll try and find a pass. Has it to Wang. Wang now has a chance back into Rogerson. Rogerson tries to get it behind. Wang just out of his reach. And Burton stonewalls him. Oh, it's intercepted as we tried to get the ball into Manilik. It's a good buildup. A chance here. Knowles lays it back. It's flicked in. Shigari can't get there in a big shot. Oh, and this hole for Awazi continues to be shown as they smash it on the volley into the back of the net. He had a chance to run out there and get the ball clear. He couldn't do it. And it's in the back of the net. A 1-1 here as he loses his man on the bounce and finds it into the corner. another corner kick as they try to find a goal here it'll go right into the box in the middle headed on and Ennis can't get there and it bounces over his head and on a set piece we just don't have the height to defend set pieces and it comes back to bite us and again bottom of the table Cambridge United continue to give us troubles as they go 2-1 Wang tries to get it up here final minutes throws the interception as we rush up the pitch and it's going to go out wide. Manalik's on there, breaks it up, and that should do it. We'll go into halftime, down 2-1. to one. Wang gets it up, has the ball here, has a good pass. It's off to Rogerson. Rogerson looking for a run from someone. Can he get one from Rinaldi? It's deep. Gets in there. Can he cut back? Looking for something in the middle. It's George Wood. George Wood takes the shot, and it's deflected and cleared out. Wang shoots it up. It's to Rogerson. Rogerson right on George Wood. Has the shot right off the keeper and gets deflected away. Oh, it's intercepted. We tried to get it wide to Allen Vick. They're into the box here. We'll have to step out as Allen Vick's out of position. They get around Jackson. Have a shot. Hung knocks it away. Wang can't get it clear. Goes back top of the box. Big shot. Hung gets it knocked away and Guzman gets on the ball. Rogers in, tries to push up, sends it along. George Wood, he gets on the ball, driving in. Can he find something back to the middle? Has it right in front. Rogers in, no, knocked away by Burton. Valet, right up the middle, has it to Guzman. Gets it on, Rogers in, pushing forward, putting the pressure here. Lays it back off, Valet, right into Rinaldi. Rinaldi driving in, can he find back post? It's right there, can see how can't get there. Valet goes over the top. Rogerson has to settle it down. It's back into Conceição. Takes the shot, and Burton makes the save. Conceição gets it off. It's Bailey rushing forward. Has it back into Valet. Can we find one here? Valet looking long. They blow the whistle, and we don't, won't get a chance. And we'll go down to Cambridge United. And it's always these low-level teams that come out. They play like superstars. And, I mean, yeah, it's a rotated squad. Maybe we just didn't have the legs today. Had seven shots, five on target, but we just didn't have the possession. When we'll go down, it's George Wood with an 8.3, Ennis a 6.7, Shigari 7.0, Hung 7.0, Jackson 6.4, Allen Vic 6.0, Bailey a 6.6, Guzman 6.5, Valet a 6.0, Rinaldi with the assist gets a 7.9, Conceição 6.3, Rogerson 7.2, Manalik 6.7, Wang 6.6, and that does it as we go down 2-1. to one. So that'll do it for us here in this one. And with the loss, we will see ourselves down into fourth position. Now six points behind Grimsby Town. Luckily, we do have a game coming up against them head to head. So hopefully we can get a three point swing there and then maybe, maybe just squeak out a chance. You know, it's going to come down to points. We don't have a chance on goal differential. We just we've conceded way too many. I mean, although uh, it's not that big a difference off, you know, Rochdale or Grimsby Town, but 
I don't know, we need to improve. We need to hopefully get a little bit of rest here, get our legs back underneath us and see if we can turn things around form wise. But that'll do it for us here in this one. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.